Hello YouTube, Proxy here with a dark and light news update. Well, there isn't too much to talk about this week, another quiet month. It will most likely be quiet until the games developer conference starts. We should get some sort of announcement by then or during the conference. But there is one thing to talk about, and that's the map size again. Now we finally had a rough figure for the map size in dark and light, and that was 100 kilometers squared. This means the map size will be in fact bigger than Ark Survival Evolved, but not by much and certainly not the 40,000 km squared, which was the size of the map in the original Dark and Light. However, Snail has now said once they finished making all the maps for Dark and Light, the world should be around 40,000 km squared in total. Now, if we assume each map will be 100 km squared, that means they will make 400 individual maps for Dark and Light? I mean, that is a lot of maps. That does not seem right at all. Honestly, a lot of Snail's numbers, facts and figures just don't seem to add up at all. Not to mention, I doubt all those extra maps will be free. Now, we know Snail was going to change its business model away from the free-to-play cash shop design they usually have, so it seems they are already planning DLC content in the form of maps. And the game hasn't even been released for early access yet. Now, they could be giving all those maps to us for free. Maybe if it was a different company, they might in fact have planned to do this. But to be honest, I think it's highly unlikely Snail would give us all this content without some kind of price tag. Though I wouldn't be surprised if Snail would throw this off as another miscommunication between the USA and China divisions, as it seems to be the go-to response these days whenever a screw-up occurs. Well, no Discord Q&A this week, Snail hasn't been communicating a lot with the community, but there was one response on the Steam forums this week regarding vampires and werewolves, to which Horse Jokes said, We have a few familiar fantasy races and creatures in game, but there aren't any vampires or werewolves. So sorry to say, if you were planning to live out your Twilight movie fantasy roleplay dreams in dark and light, there won't be any diamond-skinned vampires or dashing werewolves to sweep you off your feet. At least not yet, anyway. Well, that's pretty much it for dark and light news this week. There should be more information about the game once the Games Developer Conference starts or just after it finishes. Remember guys, if you enjoyed these updates, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always guys, thanks for watching.